Fears over the potential closure of Qualicum Secondary School have prompted the students, the teachers, and the community as a whole to team up to find ways to keep the school open. They know that if the school board does decide to shut Qualicum down, it will be a financial decision, so they are trying to make a business case for continuing to operate. As A News reporter Steve Coltman shows us their first attempt is a one-of-a-kind partnership between the auto shop students, the town of Qualicum, and a local electric car dealer. Electric vehicles are in the town of Qualicum's future, and Qualicum secondary students hope their design for an all-new electric vehicle will provide a future for their school. The plans are in place for the auto shop class at KSS to design and build an electric shuttle. Well, I think it's a very important aspect to help save the school as well as to let people know what the school can do and how important the school is for our students and the community and technology. The town of Qualicum is excited to go along for the ride, planning to show support by designating special electric vehicle lanes. Let's think of ways of keeping the school open compared to ways of closing the school. And I think this is one of those initiatives that absolutely is a way to help keep the school open. I think it's just a wake-up call that people need to understand the school needs the support of the community, and the community needs to support the school. If they value what we're doing, we're hoping they will come out and rally around and keep their school going. Councillor Barry Avis says the shuttle will be built by the community for the community, providing everyone an alternative option of getting around town. The whole community is now jumping on board, helping pave the way for the school's future. I think Joni Mitchell in one of her songs said, uh, don't it always seem to go that you don't know what you've got till it's gone? And when people started talking about closing KSS, the communities kind of rallied around and realized what a treasure KSS is to the community. Local businesses are excited about the idea. That includes the staff at Canadian Electric Vehicles, who will supply materials and support throughout the project. Uh, when they get stuck is when we get involved, usually. Uh, you know, we can certainly help with the design and, and um, part supply and that sort of thing, and then uh, leave the actual initial design up to them. We try and keep it more ahead of what's going on rather than doing what's there to keep these kids busy. We're trying to provide them with programs that give them skills to let them move forward and see the relevance of all the other academic things they do here at the school. Designs for the electric shuttle are in the early stages. So is funding, but members of the community are showing financial support so this project doesn't roll out of town. And Steve Goldman joins us now from our Nanaimo Newsroom. Steve, you spoke about uh, funding for the electric shuttle project. Any idea where the money will come from? Well, Hudson, the uh, Oceanside Communities for Quality Education is planning a kickoff fundraising event. That will actually take place this Saturday at the Qualicum, Commu Qualicum Community Hall beginning at 8 o'clock, dancing along with live entertainment. These proceeds going towards the electric shuttle initiative at KSS. And what else is going on? Students and staff considering uh, any other projects to, to try to uh, diversify? Yeah, well, they're trying to keep their doors open. Uh, just like the electric shuttle, other ideas and initiatives are in the early stages. They have a fabulous music program at Qualicum uh, that they would like to promote and, and grow over the, uh, the future. So lots of ideas to keep the doors open. Nothing written in stone at the moment uh, except for the new and exciting electric shuttle. All right, we'll keep it on. And Steve, thank you. Thank you.